In this video, we are doing a performance review of these, the Adidas Adi Zero SL. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to 40 Runs. How are we all doing, people? How are you getting on? With your training, let me know in the comments what you're training for. Now, I said in the first video that I would come back and talk to you a little bit more about the SL. Why? Because the light strike in this shoe is firm. But I do know, and I've proven by coming back, that this does soften up over time. Now that softening up does improve the ride of the shoe, and that is why I wanted to come back and do this performance review. Right, so we're over 50 miles in the shoe, and like I said in that video, the light strike midsole does come towards you. And if you did a 100 mile review on this, it'd be even softer and even more favorable in terms of the feeling that you're getting from the shoe. But before we get into where I've been using it, how I've been using it, let's quickly run over the stats and features. So this shoe, 110 pounds, but you can get it at Start Fitness with a discount code 40 runs. Um, 110 pounds is good value. 10 mil drop for memory, light strike mid. So we've got a light strike pro element in the forefoot. Uh, we've got a reasonable outsole on the shoe. Uh, the wearing tear has been absolutely fine in it. Uh, up is quite thick, but durable. I would say it's, it's done exactly what I'd expect to uh, from this shoe, um, although it has been winter, so in terms of the heat and the, the, the thickness of it, it won't come into, you know, we won't know more about that until we get into those sort of really warmer months. That's what I wanted to say. It's got the most pointless bit of fabric on the back. It's super comfortable around the heel. It does need a gusseted tongue, uh, but the tongue's okay. Lacing's good, lockdown's good, fit's good, true to size. Weight, I think, hang on, let's give you the, uh, uh, the standard weight, 248 grams. Uh, I think that's probably a sample size, usually about a US 8 or something like that. From memory, it was about nine ounces in my UK nine and a half. Right, so this is an up-tempo shoe, I would say, it's in the Adi Zero line, so it's like a racing line. Uh, and I've been using it for like club sessions, so where I've been using my Rebel 3, I've been switching the two in and out. Uh, we've done slightly longer stuff in it, but because of the light strike being that little bit firmer, I've not gone particularly long in it. But I've been using it really at sort of club nights and things like that, so you know, where the three, four miles, maybe heel repeats, or like a quicker session, whatever, but I've been wearing these shoes. I've also been wearing them at lunch times as well when I'm not testing another pair of shoes. Uh, they're pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. Are they a daily trainer, the SL? Probably not for me. Why is that? Limited use. As I said, I wouldn't want to take them that long. They're not really a recovery shoe for me because of the firmness of the light strike. But here's the thing. These shoes have got better, people, as I thought they would. The light strike is good in this shoe with that little bit of light strike pro. It is a fun shoe to wear. It's not like a Rebel three with the fuel cell which is electric from the time you put it on but it's a very competent shoe that's probably the better way to describe it yes it doesn't have a plate in it yes it doesn't have energy rods in it but it does the sort of basics okay you know the outsole's great it's nice and sticky and does everything you'd want it to do um so it, it is a shoe that i would sort of i would out and out recommend but i'd say 110 pounds if you can get it cheaper and you want a slightly quicker shoe in your rotation but you're limited on price then this could be potentially a way to go. I think it's between this and the Rebel 3. I do prefer, if you put them and the sketches together, I'd go with the sketches, but I think it's unfair with the sketches. It's got, it's got the plate in it, the Razor 4. I'm talking about, for you guys in the UK, the Razor 4 is a little bit harder to get hold of. So I think in terms of value, this is a good proposition for, say, to add another shoe in. So let's say you've got Adidas, Adios 3 Prime for race, uh, 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 Pro 3 for race day. Prime X maybe for sort of longer miles and that sort of stuff and or something else and then you need a shoe to sort of sit under there to do that sort of quicker stuff, shorter stuff, then this could be an option at £110. So yeah, I think um, as I thought it would, it would come to you. It is a shoe that comes to you people. So yes, it's not got any fanfare. It's not the highest build quality I've ever seen in a running shoe. It's not the best, you know, looking in some of the other colours, but I think in this colourway it looks awesome. But it is a pretty competent, you know, up-tempo, dare I say, it, daily trainer. It is a shoe I think you can add, can add into your rotation if you've got the money because of the price point of it. It does offer a little bit of variation that you can stick into your weekly miles. So that's why I wanted to come back. So, um, yeah, Adidas SL, Adi Zero SL, I think it is worth a look. And I think if you get it really cheap, it's definitely worth looking and putting into your rotation. 